Alright guys, so you are looking at my sweet star Amaryllis. So look at that guys. That is just so beautiful. So it's sitting right now on a terracotta pot here inside our bathroom. And I am just so happy to have it here because of its very soft pink color. And it's just giving us a very fresh feel here in our bathroom. So after you're done with your shower, here you go, you will see this fresh, beautiful looking flower, a pink, very virginal color, and very delicate, should I say, and it's also producing a total of four flowers. And I just really love the pinkness of this flower, of this beauty, because it's just looking so clean, so tidy, and it really matches the white color of our bathroom. And since this is a very light pink, there is a portion or a part of it that is like a bit of white color, especially the center of this petal here. And I feel it just matches the bathroom and anything that is surrounded by white color. So I highly recommend guys this white sweet star. It sits on a tall, it also has a, this very tall um, stalk compared to those nymph varieties. And I'm just really glad about this one. So I highly recommend guys, if you'd like to have a soft pink amaryllis, then get the sweet star amaryllis. You won't go wrong. It's probably around probably it's around 40 centimeter in height. And the size of the flower is about 15, 15 um, centimeter in diameter. It depends how you uh, uh, measure it, but it's really beautiful. You won't regret getting this one, guys. Look at that. Very beautiful. Nice flowers. So this um, flower has been blooming for about three days now and yes i'm just really happy about this one and this is single even though it's single i'm still happy about this and if you guys have any questions regarding this sweet star amaryllis please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section down below and as mentioned i highly recommend the sweet star amaryllis oh. <laughs> hello cc hello cc and here in our living room as you can see guys here's another pink amaryllis in here or hippiastrum which is really really nice and this one is called rosalie look at that guys so that's the name of this plant and this one is really really beautiful it's a bit darker pink compared to the sweet star but this one is also so beautiful so stunning and this one is also giving me a total of six flowers in total which is really amazing because the bulb of this rosalie is a bit tinier compared to the sweet star but i'm just so surprised that this one has given me a very very nice six flower bloom so look at that beautiful and that's what it looks like when you're looking at the face of its flower so beautiful so this one is called rosalie and i have it for quite some time so i think the size of um the flower is probably 14 to centi 14 to 15 centimeter diameter I think similar size to the sweet star but I think the size of their flowers varies it really depends on their health it really depends how much sun they're getting I think and yeah so I think this time the flower size of this one is not as big as um, it's supposedly and I am also 
not expecting that this is going to give me six flowers because um, the sweet star has a bigger bulbs and it's a bit taller and I thought that one will give me more flowers and as I was talking about regarding the size and CC is here again and by the way guys just for reference how pink this one is side by side I put this Monte Carlo and the Rosalie in here and the Rosalie now looks like really light pink like the sweet star but sweet star is still lighter than Rosalie but that's why it looks like now when you put it together with the Monte Carlo and this Monte Carlo is giving me that huge flower this time and it's really really good and right now it's in the vase already and I noticed that their flowering period is longer when it's on flower bus than when it's uh, it's still in its own bulb so I'm really surprised that this one is really lasting for so long I think I have it for a week now and it's still looking good and prior to that it's been flowering for almost a week as well uh, on its own bulb when it was still planted there and I'm just so surprised just so happy to see them looking like this blooming and looking pretty look at this one here is my sweet nymph uh, sorry cherry nymph this is my cherry nymph amaryllis and look at this one guys it's also blooming again and here's another one another flower stalk coming soon but this one is blooming for the second time yeah if i'm not mistaken second, second or third but the flower this time is a bit smaller compared to its first flower the first flower was a bit bigger so somehow i think there are some factors that affects the size of the flower but this one my arctic name the first flower of my arctic name was giving me a little bit of tinge of pink in here but this one is really mainly white i can see a little bit of pink in this part just a little bit of pink there but otherwise this time it's mainly white color and yeah so i think that would be all for uh today guys regarding my amaryllis there's another flower stock in here and um i will update you um uh, about our garden activities in here after the cyclone so that will be uploaded very soon and again thank you very much uh, for watching my blogs and if you have any questions regarding this amaryllis these amaryllis are so beautiful it's so nice to have them as your indoor plant and they are just so stunning and so beautiful all right guys thank you very much and i will see you again on my next one bye for now